welcome back to my channel thanks for tuning into this video my name is titi and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to do this delicious succulent and sweet cameroonian ndole so all the ingredients for this recipe are going to be left in the description box so please be sure to check the description box for the full details on the ingredients now for this recipe you're going to be needing some smoked fish and meat i've already boiled the meat and fish you're going to be needing some white granite. This granite is particularly used for ndole. We call it ndole granite here in Cameroon. You're going to be needing some bitter leaf. This bitter leaf has been washed and squeezed. Some red onions. I prefer red onions to white onions. Some crayfish. Some garlic. Ginger. Pepper. White pepper. Salt and seasoning. Now to begin the process, just go ahead and heat up some oil in the pot after which you're going to add a pinch of salt and then next you're going to saute some chopped onions in the oil so at this point the onions have been frying for a while go ahead and add the beef in the onion and oil allow it to fry for at least three to five minutes and then you can proceed to adding in the blended granite paste so you just keep stirring the beef until it is brown and has a very nice texture then go ahead to add the blended granite paste i added pepper into my granite paste when blending it because i wanted some extra spiciness so go ahead to pour the granite paste into the meat mixture and then give it a good stir and allow it to boil for at least 10 minutes this process is very important because the granite needs to get ready and thick before you can proceed to adding the other ingredients After about 10 minutes, this is what the granite paste is going to look like. Just go ahead and stir it properly. Be sure to stir it properly because the granite paste can easily burn and you're cooking this granite paste on medium heat and not high heat. If you cook it on high heat, it's definitely going to burn and it's going to distort the flavor of your ndule. At this point, you can proceed to adding the ingredients. Start by adding some garlic. Be sure to add enough garlic into the mixture. Add some garlic, some ginger, and then some white pepper. Once you've done that, you can go ahead to add the vegetables. So when adding the vegetables, be sure to add the vegetables in batches and not all at once. This is going to help to ease the process of combining the vegetables and the granite. After adding the first batch, be sure to stir it properly to make sure it is properly combined and then go ahead to add in the second batch of vegetable.
So after combining both the granite paste and the vegetables, go ahead to add in the meat and fish stock and then you can proceed to adding in a little more salt and seasoning. Be careful with the salt and seasoning at this point because the meat stock already contains some salt and seasoning. In my case, I added just one cube of maggi and a pinch of salt. Once that's done, just continue stirring it to make sure everything is properly combined and then you're going to allow it to boil for at least 10 more minutes. This is going to be boiling on medium heat, medium low heat, in order to allow the vegetables to cook properly and the ingredients to get ready. Now in another pan, go ahead to add in some oil. Once the oil is heated up, you're going to add in some chopped onions and then stir it until the onions are transparent. I absolutely love red onions. I prefer red onions to white onions because I feel like red onions bring out the flavor of your dishes to a hundred. I just love red onions. So just keep stirring it and stirring it until it's properly fried. Then go ahead to add in some crayfish, some ground crayfish, and then continue stirring it until it develops a foamy texture. Now moving back to the dole which has been boiling for close to 10 minutes now, we're just going to go ahead and add in all this goodness into the dole and then give it a very good mix to combine everything together and seal up this delicious delicacy. So once you've given that a good mix, just allow it to cook for at least 2-3 to three minutes and your dole is ready. Thanks for watching this video, hope this video was helpful to you, hope you liked this video. Please if you try this recipe at home, tag me on Instagram at tsecret01, I'm going to leave my Instagram handle in the description box below. So please tag me on Instagram and let me know how it goes. Also please click the notification bell and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel for more interesting for the content see you guys in my next video bye